Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to study about word problems on two digit numbers. Generally students are having many doubt in this so I thought to share this and this belongs to pair of linear equation with two variables. So let us start. Without wasting much time I am going to solve this two questions. This is question number one and this is question number two. So let us start. The sum of the digits of a two digit number is nine. Also, 9 times this number is twice the number obtained by reversing the digit. Find the numbers. First of all, you need to understand what are two digit number. When I say uh, 25, so this is a two digit number having a unit place and a tens place. So when I want to write down, can I write this as 2 plus 5, 25? Yes, yeah, no, no, this is totally wrong. When we want to write down 25, in expanded form, we are writing 20 plus 5, 20. So actually, whatever term is there on tens place, we have to multiply. We have to multiply 10 with them. So suppose, suppose, unit place digit is equal to x and tens place digit tens place digit is equals to y. So now this is your tens place digit. So what will be your expanded form in this like as you had written 25 as 20 plus 525. So here you will get tens place you need to multiply 10 with the tens place term and then x. So your number in terms of x and y will be 10y plus this. This is your two digit number in terms of x and y okay so the sum of the digits of two digit number is 9 means now they are telling from the this you can they are telling that the sum of only the digit is 9 so first equation will be x plus y is equal to 9 sum of the digits of tens and unit place is 9 okay they are not asking you the whole term so take it as a result number 1. Now also 9 times this number means this full number 9 times. 9 times this given number is equals to 2 times the reverse number. Now here you need to understand from this 9 times this number whatever given to you. So this whole number when you want to write down you need to write down this 10y plus x is the given number. 9 times the given number will be equals to 2 times the reverse number. So what will be the reverse number? The reverse number of 25 is 52. So your F expanded form will be 50 plus. So here also the x and y will change. So here you will get 10x plus y. Because now your unit digit becomes tens plus digit and tens plus digit becomes unit plus digit. Now open this. 9 tens are 90y plus 9x equals to 2 tens are 20x plus 2y. Take this y on this side, 90y minus 2y equals to 20x minus 9x. So here you will get 88y is equals to 11x. If you want to find out x, take this y in the 11 in the denominator. So so what you will get x is equals to 8y you will get. This will get cancelled. So here you got x is equals to 8y. Now keep this value in the first equation. Instead of x, we are going to put 8y instead of x because we got this. Here 8y plus y is equals to 9. So here you will get 9y equals to 9 and y will be 1 y equals to 9 by 9. 9 by 9 will be 1. Now keep here x plus y is equals to 9. So if you will get keep 1 here, x plus 1 is equals to 9. So y will be, sorry, x will be 9 minus 1. x will be 8. So you got your unit place as 8 and tens place as 1. So 1 and 8 together form a two digit number 18 
so the number two digit number is 18 guys 18 so this way first you need to find out x and y and j just keep on their places unit place eight tens place one so 18 is the number okay moving towards the next question question number two the sum of a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the order is of its digit is 121 again you need to understand two digit number so you need to suppose unit place is equals to x and tens place digit is equals to y so your number full number will be number two digit number will be tens place so 10 y plus now they are telling the sum of a two digit number and the number obtained by reversing so reverse number this is your two digit number and this is your reverse number reverse number will be 10 x and they are telling the sum of this two is 121 so 10 y plus x plus 10 x plus y is equals to 120 open the bracket like terms you need to add so 10 x plus x you can say 11 x and 10 y plus y 11 y is equals to 121 take out 11 common x plus y here 121 take this 11 in the denominator because it is in multiplication so 11 ones are and 11 11 are so first equation is x plus y is equal to 11. you got first equation from this now the second equation and the two digit differs by 3 here comes the big problem here they had not told us that which digit is greater unit plus digit is greater or tens place digit is greater they said the difference is 3 so so x minus y can be also equals to 3 or y minus x can be also equals to 3 or you can write down this as x minus y as plus or minus we don't know which one is greater x is greater or y so here two different answers will come that also i will tell you how so now we are only taking this equation in consideration x minus y is 3 and then we will decide that in next time we have to take and solve but no need of solving also directly i will tell you the answer but just we need to follow one condition and now we are you are having two equations so we can eliminate or substitute whatever you like i am going to eliminate come on if we will add this this will get cancelled here i will get 2x and here i will get 14 so your x will be 14 by 2 x7 and keep this 7 in any of the equation so let me x plus y equals to 11 so instead of x7 plus y equals to 11 so y will be 11 minus 7 y will be 4 so here you got x and y when x minus y equals to 3 now you can also take y minus x equals to 3 and solve this but directly also we can predict the answer so i am not going to solve now you got x 7 y 4 so x 7 so unit place is 7 and tens place is 4 so 47 but when you will take y minus x as 3 this digit will intersect so it can be 74 also so both these answers you need to write down the term the number two digit number can be either 47 or 74 if you will write only 47 then your teacher can cut your mark guys so please keep this in mind if you like this video please like share and subscribe and also still if you are having any doubt guys any doubt you can join me on an academy i am taking free live lectures every morning at 9 am so you can join me on an academy just download an academy app 
register with your mobile number select the goal foundation iit neet foundation ntsc use my referral code galaxy coaching so that you can join in my free classes and for plus subscription also you can use my code galaxy coaching so that you will get 10% discount after registering registering just follow my or pro search my profile name chetan wadadia and click on the follow button nearby that so that you will get notification of all my classes thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much